Today, we are going to talk about something that is really difficult to understand. We are going to try to understand what is the difference of the price between Google Cloud, Cloud Functions and AWS Lambda. And I say that because when you start to check the pricing model, it's not always easy to find why I had to pay for what. As you can see on the screen, we are in the AWS pricing calculator. And we are going to choose a service that, of course, is going to be the Lambda service. Now we click here on configure and we are going to leave this, the region that we have currently and we are going to choose the Lambda function that we are going to include the free tier. Now the architecture in this case, the one that we're going to choose is the one that we currently have here. And we are going to play with 10 millions of requests per month. The duration is 200 milliseconds. Here is something important. When we are talking about AWS, the time of duration of this execution to be counted in milliseconds in Google Cloud is taking every 100 milliseconds. And this is important because everything that is between 200 and 300 in Google Cloud is going to be always the same price. 202 milliseconds, you're going to pay 300 milliseconds. Another different memory that we have in our resource. And what is the difference? Because in Google, we need to count the memory and the CPU that we're going to use. In this case, it's only the memory. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose 1024 megabytes or one gig. And now the ephemeral storage. This is something that, for example, is different in Google Cloud. And remember, everything that is 512 megabytes is going to be free. And after everything that goes above that, we are going to pay. With these numbers, is $28.47. So this is the, the price that we pay. Yes and no, because there are many, many, many other concepts that we need to consider. For example, the API gateway. Depends of what kind of Lambda we are using. Normally, you, you need to use a, an API gateway. And for example, in this other calculator that I found in the internet, when you check this serverless cost, for example, if you go to a, in this case, let's go to a large, and we go here to number of HTTP requests, uh, 10 millions, an average of 200 seconds, and, and the response size, that this is going to be the outbound that we're going to pay for that. Imagine that is, okay, I don't know, 25 kilobytes. Is, this is a big one, but okay. Imagine that with a size of the lambda of one gig as before. In this case, we have 91, because we are considering the lambda price plus the API gateway. Now, if I go here to Google Cloud and I click on Function in Cloud Function, there are several differences between the first and the second generation. For example, the, the, the biggest one is the timing, no? because the first generation, it was maximum time on nine minutes, and now it's 60 minutes in the second generation. When you Now, if we go here and we say 10 millions, and we said that the execution time is going to be 200 milliseconds as before, but we are going to click here in Advanced. Now, if I increase to one gig, that is the same thing that we had before, when we were in AWS Lambda, we start to check the, the transfer request. For example, you remember the, the 25 kilobyte that we were using before. But in this way, you can see that the price is $80. And if we compare it, it's more or less 91. So really, there is not too much difference here in the prices because at the end, more or less, it's the same. What's the biggest difference? The biggest difference is now if I want to use 201 milliseconds because this is the time of execution of my cloud function, I need to go here to 300. And if I go to 300 and I remove here the, the outbound, because imagine that I don't have outbound. So I live here in, in zero. Okay, here it is. The price is $111. While here, in this other scenario, if I go here to 201, as you can see, the price in this case is 28. So this is for me the biggest difference because everything that goes from 200 to 300 is is paid at the same price. Well, in Lambda, it's not paid at the same price. For me, this is a, a big gap. And another is, okay, you say, okay, how expensive is this one? You can go to the first generation. Of course, that you can go to the first generation and then you save the amount of money because if we go to the first generation and we say one gig, and we go here now to 300, as you can see here is $52 in Google, and we are now in AWS 45. It's simple when you go to this calculators and you check the prices, but really super difficult to understand the real price. And this is something that you, you will see day by day. The only way that you have to understand the real price is making an examples, making a POC. And then with this proof of concept is when you can get value. And then after that is when you can 
extrapolate real number of execution that you're going to have. I hope that you enjoy and see you next time. Do you think your project infrastructure is well set and maintained? We know for sure there is always room for improvement. If you are uncertain where to begin, let's first do an audit of what you already have. We will review your setup from every angle, performance, cost, security, high availability, automation, and provide you with a detailed roadmap of which direction your infrastructure should go, generate concrete tasks for you to implement, or even take on your infra entirely, if you let us, of course.